Hey friends, I still remember that day when I was baby Binox. The atmosphere was electric. All eyes were on me and everything relied on me. Just save the gold and our team will qualify. I said to myself, the stage was set. The striker kicked the ball. I was laser focused and suddenly I began itching and we lost the match. Oh, you have no idea how embarrassed I was. On that day, I took an oath to spread awareness about this itchy subject so no one else could fall prey to its disturbing acts. So let us scratch the surface of this problem and see why do we itch? Zoom in! An itch, also known as pruritus, is an annoying, unpleasant sensation that makes you scratch like a monkey. It can happen due to various reasons such as dry skin, insect bites, disease, allergies, but sometimes its cause remains as mysterious as Mona Lisa's smile. Well, whatever the causes might be, this may surprise you that itching evolved for good reasons and it isn't merely there to annoy us. Our skin has a defense system of nerves that makes us aware of annoying things that touch our body and our natural itching response equips us to dislodge any potential threat that can be crawling on our skin like a harmful insect. But the annoying question is, what exactly makes us feel an itch? It turns out that we don't know all the reasons behind this itchy business. But scientists experimenting on mice may have found the culprit. Yes, studies show that a subclass of nerves that are linked with pain transmits itch signals in mice. These nerves generate a molecule known as natriuretic polypeptide B that carries the signal up to the spinal cord toward the brain and creates the itchy sensation. And because mice and people share similar biology, the scientists suspect that people also have this circuit too. But another vital question is, why do we scratch our itches? It's because when the neurons in the spinal cord send the pain signal instead of an itch signal to the brain, it releases a neurotransmitter known as serotonin, a chemical responsible for making us feel good, resulting in the reduction of pain and we feel better. Trivia time! Did you know that certain itching diseases can be extremely harmful to your health? One such example is a psychological condition called telusory parasitosis. During this condition, people have an erroneous belief that the body is infested with invisible bugs, mites, worms or other parasites crawling inside and over their bodies, making them itch uncontrollably. But don't worry my friends, such cases are very rare. But here is something pretty common. Recent studies have found that just like yawning, itching or scratching can be contagious too. The researchers found a chemical in the brain that makes us want to scratch when seeing someone else do it. Sometimes even its mention could make someone scratch an imaginary itch. I'm sure you too are scratching right now. <laughs> it's question time. Today's question is, what is the other name for an itch? Do write your answer in the comments section below to be a part of the Peekaboo Kids Cutesy Butesy family. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Just remember, although scratching your skin can be normal behavior, 
it is advisable to avoid it as it can further irritate your skin and could increase your risk for a skin infection. So to prevent itching, doctors recommend steps such as bathing with lukewarm water, wearing loose-fitting cotton clothes, avoiding extreme temperature changes, etc. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Uh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.